to Hello folks, uh, welcome back uh, Spoon TV crew, Diamond Slanger, Nelson Kole, Achokon Flama and Jurassic Joe We headed to the Monrovia Central Prison known as South Beach here in Liberia As you can see all of these women Of the grounds of the temple Jubilantly to the Monrovia Central Prison the full bench of the Supreme Court of Liberia uh, moments ago ordered the release of the former Chief Justice and three others who were of murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and making false statements to law enforcement officials involving the death of Render his opinion uh, that indeed there was real doubt in the prosecution of the former Chief Justice and her three other co defendants. So, this is a contrast to what we witnessed some, um, seven months ago um, when they were convicted and subsequently sentenced to lifetime imprisonment at the Monrovia Central Prison. So, we heard it now whether they will be immediately released. Uh, their family members, supporters, and sympathizers are jubilantly making their way um, to the Monrovia Central Prison. Joko Flama, um, you were there in the chambers of the Supreme Court of Liberia. Quick update, the ruling on the asset recovery um, case has also been adjourned. Joko, uh, what was important there in the chambers of the Supreme Court of Liberia relevant to this particular case? Yes, Damon, it was uh, an exciting moment for two gathered in a courtroom to witness uh, this um, uh, uh, landmark case on today as you may know uh, uh, uh councillor gloria Moses scott and others were sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder of Charles musu and today the court uh, the court uh, hand down final ruling and in a courtroom today uh, there was a lot of folks you know and I, I, I tried to pick among those people to see we had senators in the court, we have uh, law enforcement officers, journalists, ordinary librarians and other lawyers who went at the uh, Supreme Court today to witness uh, this final ruling. And, and there was a lot more said when the Chief Justice uh, Siaden Yo were reading the final ruling, the final opinion of the High Court. Uh, some of the state mentioned the state, the state uh, failed to provide the weapon that was used to to stab uh, the late Shadow uh, uh, Mutsu uh, nine times, according to the case at the lower court that uh, she stabbed nine, nine times. And the, 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 the state failed to provide a weapon, whether it was knife or stick or what, what whatsoever that was used to murder the, 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 the deceased. Now, not only that, the state also, according to the High Court, the, the pathologist report, the Liberian pathologist report, established that there was no new DNA in any part of uh, the, the, the on any part of the deceased but later on the international pathologist who was later on hired by the defendant proved that there was male DNA detected which is worse for the entire you know uh, uh, state the, the defense counsel after they said there was no male DNA. In fact, those who murdered uh, uh, Charles Musu were the five individuals, female, four individuals who were in uh, at the home of the incident. So, so the Chief Justice said this is not in nature. Uh, the, Female DNA, male DNA within the left fingernail of the deceased. Right in front of us, sorry for interrupting, children, we're back in front of the 
central prison now. As you can see, it's crowded. We'll try to find a space to park. As a family member. Um, yes, we are still here, Spoon TV. We are coming to you live now from the Monrovia Central Prison. Otherwise, Her former workmate, remember, she served as senator of Montserrat. Did see some of her as well as Glebo Brown, who happens to be the chairman of the Senate Committee on Rules, Order, and Administration. Senator Glebo Brown uh, was at the grounds of the Temple of Justice as well. And uh, of River G County, but also there. I see right before the gate uh, some of the feminists, uh, as well. And, uh, So, uh, Dama, it's a whole different scene here. Yeah, it's a whole different scene as we, we, we did see the, the contrast in the scene from the Temple of Justice to now. Last time we were here, the Chief Justice was being waxed away on board a correction with three other court defendants that they have subsequently been acquitted. Their, their verdicts have been overturned. The verdicts of the lower court has been reversed. Their sentence so been cancelled removed if you want to use whatever word it is their rights have been restored effectively by the supreme court of liberia now the state cannot prosecute these individuals again because the law of double jeopardy applies that you cannot prosecute them it's not that you failed so what I mean, the state will go after the perpetrators now because according to law these four individuals are no longer the perpetrators of this act. Whether there will be new evidence adduced, whether there will be a new investigation, from all of what the Supreme Court said, these individuals failed. Oh yes, certainly. Um, so... So, uh, folks, we are still here. We want to make sure that we can bring you all of the updates, uh, capturing the capturing the exit of uh, our councillor Gloria Musustat. We want to make sure we can capture the exit. As you see here in the background, family members, concerned Liberians, folks from across the country are in a very jubilant mood, Diamond. Yes, There's a whole jubilation here. They are shaking their sasas, they are dancing, and they are jubilating. And this gigantic gate, the full, the, the main entrance is not going to be opened. Whether or not they will allow a vehicle to go in and get her, that is the question she and two others. But this small gate, you see people are entering and entering and entering and entering. If you're just joining us, the breaking news is the former Chief Justice of the Republic of Liberia Council of Gloria Musu Stat 
and three other codes is selling. So, so Diamond, you, you, you see the, the arrival of huge security presence here. Yes. Is, is there any indication that the, the former Chief Justice will be set free today? There is a lot of indicators that the former Chief Justice is going to be set free today. You can see the jubilations. Um, you can see supporters of the United Party. I do see Queen Johnson is giving an interview there. Okay, the we're gonna, we're gonna to and the rest are dancing, support groups. They printed t-shirts and all of that. Whether or not they anticipated um, that this was going to happen or that is just a t-shirt of an, of an organization, we move further to, um, to confirm. But there, there is dancing, there is jubilation of all of that. But amongst, uh, beside all of this dancing and jubilation, Nelson, a young Liberian woman lost her life. As to the legal ramifications of this, these four individuals did not commit the act because reasonable doubt did not apply in this case. The question is, who is the murderer or who are the murderers? Because as they've been set free, it is established that they did not commit this as per legality. So who killed Chalo Musu? Chalo has not gotten justice from all indications. It's definitely, and, and, and justice for the for the victim in this case is what is the next stage is what Liberians are looking forward to seeing because uh, Diamond you know that every single Liberian citizen uh, deserves protection under the, under the laws of yes, the country right. yeah so whether the person is your child you can have a kid but that kid becomes a property of the state and so if anything happens to that child whether you murder that child or not or someone else came in and murdered that child it is the responsibility of the state to provide justice in that case yes we are seeing the high court uh, um, uh, overturning the decision of the lower court today setting Councilor Gloria Mususcat free uh, an indication that she and the, and the, and the, and the other uh, 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 individuals who were who were being the court defendants who were being convicted will be set free today now the next question is who is the murderer what exactly is the state going to do to ensure that that person is brought to book so as to set deterrence well the legal team some of whom we spoke with were unable to provide um, a definite position as to what the 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 the, the the, the, the defense council is going to do here after but again what they are they are concerned about at the moment is the fact that councillor Gloria Mususcat is the fact that councillor Gloria Mususcat is the fact that councillor Gloria Gloria Mususcat is the fact that councillor Gloria Mususcat is the fact that is the fact that councillor Gloria Mususcat and others are going to be set free today so at the moment that is the point of concentration you see in the back end there's a huge presence of state security here and, and, and an indication that we are about to experience something out of the ordinary it is either councillor Gloria Mususcat and others are set free today or the uh, state will have to set up a time when they can do just that but we are staying here Spoon TV we are going to provide you the updates, making sure that uh, we bring you up to speed with all of the happenings. So we still see state security arriving here. We still see the arrival of state security here. Uh, let's let's talk to. We still see the arrival of state security here, and of course, uh, this is where we are, Spoon TV. We are coming to you live from the Monrovia Central Prison. Uh, why, Councilor? Okay, what's your name? Welcome to Spoon TV. Okay, there is Spoon TV. I been wishing to speak to the Spoon Evan TV. I hope the CEO watching me. My name is Morris Gray. Okay, Morris, Morris what, what's your impression about everything happening here today? Yeah, I live in the district, but certainly I just came here by seeing group of people. Uh, okay, so just follow the around, issue, so you, you're going to get the rest of the details and with respect to what's happening here. So, uh, we have the presence of state security here trying to make sure that the place is protected. They see all the grounds of the Monrovia Central Prison here is protected so as to ensure that uh, 
the state security can execute the reason why they are here today. So thanks for joining us, Spoon TV. We are coming to you live from the grounds of the Monrovia Central Prison. So Diamond, this is where we are. Uh, initially, there was there, there wasn't that much of us state security presence here. You, you, you see the presence of state um, and 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 what 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 what, what does this indicate, Diamond? Uh, what what can you say? Well, Nelson, again, um, the focus is on the celebration, as I said, as we see. Um, but what has been established by the court is that the state did a miserable job. The state did not prove beyond reasonable doubt. With all of the resources available to the state, they did not prosecute the case beyond all reasonable doubt. There were reasonable and substantial doubts that the Supreme Court has finally pointed out. The state failed also to provide justice for Chalo Musu at this point because the four that were pepper, that were them, the perpetrators are to be released and rendered innocent. And now you're talking about double jeopardy and all of that, meaning Chalo Musu, the deceased, has not gotten justice. Her family members have not gotten justice. Whomever it is that committed this crime against um, the life of that young Liberian woman, the state will now have to investigate whether the state is going to relinquish to the investigation, whatever the case is, Nelson. These four individuals have been deemed innocent but, but under the, the law. But the ruling today, Diamond, what, what, what sort of message does it send about the legal, the legal, um, uh, uh, the, 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 the court system of our country, the legal system of Liberia? I mean, just seeing that there was a decision from the lower court, the decision was being overturned by the Supreme Court today, uh, involving a high profile individual. What sort of message does it send? Uh, do, do you in any way uh, sense that Liberians moving forward will start to trust the court system? Um, the well, court system trust system. is established uh, by facts. Mm -hmm. What it tells you is that if you do not have the financial might mm -hmm. or you do not have the requisite connections as the Scots and sympathizers of Councillor Scott have, to have had legal team consisting of former chief uh, uh, justices of the Supreme Court, consisting of legal luminaries. Well, it tells you that this is the tip of the iceberg of convictions that can be overturned. There were two convictions that were overturned today. Not just Councilor Scott, uh, Mother Mata Doe from Grand Bassa County, a prayer woman who uh, a person went to for prayer and subsequently got missing and his body was found. Yeah. Um, her, her, her conviction was also overturned today. So two cases, capital offenses that were overturned by the Supreme Court of Liberia. That tells you that prosecuting in our country lacks a whole lot. Investigation lacks a whole lot. Forensic investigation, um, expert investigation, expert opinions are lacking. And it tells you that a large number of innocent Liberians are languishing beyond bars where reasonable doubts were established, but they didn't have the financial means to go to the Supreme Court or to hire lawyers to fight their case at the Supreme Court of Liberia, Nelson. That's what it tells me. You, you know, Diamond, uh, you asked a very important question. What if the Scott family are not flew in an independent uh, pathologist? You know, and, and that's a big question because both of the uh, issues raised, uh, the, the, the points highlighted by the Supreme Court today were, were issues that were highlighted from the very uh, uh, pathologists that flew in, the international pathologists, talking about the, uh, the discovery of uh, a male DNA uh, in the fingertips of and all of those things. So if there wasn't an independent pattern like uh, what we saw in the case of Princess Co uh, You see groups of people jubilating, dancing, hawks has changed. What we're waiting for now is for the former Chief Justice and the three others that have been ordered released. Back to our justice 
system in the country. Yeah. Listen to what the pathologist said. Who had helped to carry Charo from the house to the hospital? DNA under her fingernails. Six males were said to have just for Charo, and their DNAs were. Uh, Apparently, um, the conference will be held after the release or maybe before the release, but whatever the case is, our audience can, can rest assured that we're going to give them the updates. Once the conference is started, we are... The folks... Okay, so... Let's, so what I see here is that the folks are very much interested in these things. A lot of people here care less to know. Is, but the folks here care less about the ring and they are more concerned. They are more concerned that uh, the, the former Chief Justice Council of is going to be set free today. All right, so folks, Spoo TV, we are going to be here. The legal team and the rest of the folks are making that crazy. So once they get here, we are going to provide uh, all of the updates every single step along the way. And uh, so we uh, uh, earlier saw Representative Prince Stoles of district number eight yeah. and making his way there in the compound of the they're wearing all white there's another group wearing yellow but others are wearing black and white as if this was coordinated nelson if you look at this it was probably well planned and coordinated that after the ruling from the supreme court from the members and supporters would have gathered here to triumphantly take the four uh, that have been acquitted from the Monroe Central Prison. We see the representative vehicle yeah. Prince yeah. Yeah. That, is, that is his vehicle yeah. making his way to the Monroe Central Prison. Yeah, uh, definitely a diamond. And, um, that is the vehicle that she will, she will, she will ride. We can't tell, um, but we're waiting. She and the four, three others will exit the Monroe Central Prison now. You know, and, and that's that's the moment. That's that's the scene that we are. That's the scene that we are very interested in capturing as well. That moment. That moment. Remember when we captured the moment of uh, the, 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 the 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 associate. The moment when Councilor Gloria Mususcar was was escorted at the Monrovia Central Prison. It was a very emotional one. And this is just going to be another scene that completes the entire progress with respect to, with respect to uh, what we've seen. All right, so. Uh, so again, we're getting confirmation that this is the vehicle she will, she will ride. Street residents, the same area where she and the three other wakes away on the 23rd of uh, on the 24th of June 2023. Now, see again, let's give the counts for which the state lost this appeal. Count number one the state failed to have provided the weapon that was supposedly used to have killed Charlo Musso.